Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. How are y'all doing? Look at my swollen face. I just woke up from sleep. I worked a 16-hour shift yesterday to this morning, and I slept for only two hours. I'm heading back for a double. And um, I'm just going to wait on you guys. Today our topic is how to pursue your dreams even when you're gray, even when you're old. My guest my guest is DJ Gasparella. And um, y'all just come on and click share, click share. Let me see. Let me start inviting people. Look at me like I'm trying to act like I'm a pro. I am no pro. <laughs> I'm not a pro with this thing. But, anywho, let's start inviting. Yeah, so how y'all doing today? Write it there at the bottom. How you guys doing? As has all been well? People have been um, calling me, texting me, telling me how they um, like the content and everything. And I'm grateful to God for that. My whole deal is for people to be emotionally healed. And for people to just um, do what God has called them to do. That's just, that is my utmost desire. That's my utmost desire. So come on in. Our guest today is going to be awesome. This is Guest Thursday. I try to bring in a guest every Thursday. This is Guest Thursday. And today our topic is how to pursue your dreams even when you are gray, when you're getting older, when you're 45, you know. I said that 45 and the person is looking at me. The person knows who I'm referring to. The person knows I'm referring to him. <laughs> anyway, so that's what our topic is today. Our topic is how to pursue your purpose even when you are older, even when you have been in the profession that you have loved and now you know, you know that you want to shift professions, but now you're older and you don't know what to do when you're dealing with that emotionally and you feel like all is lost. Our guest today, he is an expert in that. He is very, very versed with still pursuing his call, pursuing his dream in the midst of everything he is still pursuing so be encouraged today as you're watching just click share click share click share click share it's going to be a good one today i'm working a double today y'all so um i'm not going to be with you for long i'll be with you for 45 to one hour usually when i say that then we end up being longer so let me not jinx myself Anywho, so I'm waiting on you guys. You guys say hi, say hi, say hi, and ask your questions that have to do with the topic. Even if it doesn't have to do with the topic, ask your questions. Go ahead and just type it there at the bottom, and I'm going to wait on my guest. Um, before my guest comes, I am going to... Um, oh, hi, DJ. Happy now. I see you. I see you. Hey. <laughs> Facebook Live, that's my husband. <laughs> hey, baby. Titi, how are you? How are you? It's been a while. It's good to see you. Good to see you. So I'm going to give you a little COVID story before I go <laughs> Before I go ahead. So um, I took care of 24 COVID patients yesterday. Um, COVID recovering patients. COVID recovering patients. I had two COVID ones, but they... Um, like, for some reason, like, I went into the room and they weren't there. And no, they are not gone. But I think that they had moved them, like, to another room or something. But I had 24 patients yesterday. One of them yesterday took me to a place, y'all, in my head. Do this for me and do that for me and do this for me and do that for me. And when I started, like, when I started becoming human... <laughs> because you know how we're supposed to walk around and carry the Holy Spirit with us, but sometimes, like, we get human. <laughs> so, when I became human and when I was in the flesh, the Holy Spirit said, like when, like, when I was in the flesh, I was like, oh my gosh, she is so insatiable. God, she is so insatiable. And the Holy Spirit said, no, she is not insatiable. She needs your help. She's just a woman in need. And one day, that could be you. And that hit me. 
and that hit me and I said, I'm sorry, Lord, and I had to step back. You know, like when you're tired, when you are tired, it's amazing how you completely lose your etiquette, you lose your respect, you lose your reasoning, you know, so let's try to be as strong as we can be physically, emotionally, you know, like let's try to be as strong as we can be, okay? Um, so I'm going again today to work another 16-hour shift with COVID patients, and um, it it will be a smooth shift. It will be a good shift. Let's go ahead and, cl and just click the share button so that other people can enjoy um, this. Um, so my speaker will be here. Let me see if I can get him on right now. Today our topic is, our topic is, how to pursue your purpose even when you're older, even when you're gray, even when you feel like you can no longer fly a plane and you feel like you can no longer be a model because you're 50 years old. Who said so? You know? Um, so, so let's go ahead and nip that in the bud because you can do all things through Christ who's from oh, My speaker is here. Hey! DJ, look at you. How are you? I am awesome. Look at how hot you look. My husband is not you. Don't worry. He has a cool. Hey, how are you? We're still gonna have a show today. We was hi Greg, how are you doing? I see you. Stop going live. We don't they'll be able to watch you. No, that's not what I'm trying to do. Facebook Live, man. Read this. Hi Cindy. Hi Enoch. Okay. Let me see if I can bring him back on issues. Oh, he did request me. Okay, approve. Let me see how we can do this. Goodness. The sound was something else. Let's see. Anyway, we're just going to keep going till he can come back with us. So, like I said, our topic is... Um, how to pursue your purpose even when you're older. I know people who have um, like completely quit, like completely quit their nursing job and started a vacation um, 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 job or, or like open a nursing home or people who just stopped being doctors and they built their own hospital. And, you know, so basically this is about, hi, Pastor Patricia. This, so my guest is going to be talking today about how to pursue your purpose even when you're older. I know people who have pursued their PhDs when they're 50, okay? I mean, like, you can do anything, not just because Christ strengthens you, but because there is a willpower on the inside of you. So now that you've taken care of those children, now that you've been that wife, now that you've been that husband, now that you've worked for that person for 20 million years, how does that make you feel? Be honest with yourself. How does that make you feel? Really? How does that make you feel? So you're going to get a pension of what, $5? Get back. Okay. Yes, I okay. So just go ahead. I'm just going to give you the floor. Can you hear me? I can hear you very slowly. It's like a window is open. Like it sounds like a window is open. Hi, Felicia. Can you hear me now? 
I hear you so much better, but a window is still like something is still open and it's causing a fever. Yeah, yeah. I live in Africa, remember. <laughs>
Hi, Doris. Just go ahead and talk. And then it freezes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Tega, how are you? We enjoyed you the other day. We, we can barely hear you. We can barely hear you. Like, that's just the gospel truth. We can barely hear you. You can hear me now? Yes. This is, this is better, right? Ooh, so much better. Oh. Okay. Thank God, though. <laughs> Thank God. Sorry, everybody. You, we have to do this. Lord, you know, for being uh -huh. the podcast today. Uh, Thank you, Father. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, brother. Okay, let's get okay, down brother. to business. So just go ahead and give your advice. Hi, Tega. <laughs> Basically, lots of people that, uh, oh, the noise has started again. The noise has started again. Like it was awesome, like a few minutes ago. I am in my studio now where I do all my broadcasts. I am in the studio where I do all my broadcasts, right? So it should be good. Okay, so go ahead. Even when you're old, 
That's our topic for today, but we're having serious network issues in Nigeria. Why is it Nigeria? Why is it not America? Why is it not America? Why is it not America? Well, boo, you know that I'm uh, laughing. You know that answer, boo. Hi, Ruth. With the generator and everything. It's so faint. It's very, very faint. Yes, yes. We can definitely do this again. Um, yeah, like with the window closed, with no generator, which is almost impossible being in Nigeria. Um, but we will find a very good time. Don't worry. But, but you can send me your points now. Like you can send me like 10 points now on the commentary. Just send me 10. Yeah. Just send me 10 um, points and then I'll read it out because it's still you. It's still your voice. Okay. Okay, so thank you so much. And we're waiting on those points. We're all here. You are still our speaker. We're all here. And I'm going to read all those points. Just send 10 points, please, okay? Thank you. I'm watching us. I'm watching us. Okay, so I'm waiting on the point, okay? Thank you. I am so sorry about that. To my viewers, I am so sorry about that. So we're just gonna wait. Hi, Natalie. So we're gonna wait on his points. Let me see if I could just bring somebody. Let me see if I could. Say hi, hello, and just give just one point about how to pursue your purpose even when you're older. Ah, she declined, girl. I know Afaniki is not coming up here. Let me see your brother Kevin can something how to pursue your or let me see if Miss Ruth can. Doris. I know Afeniki, no, no, no. Let's see Tega again. Okay, so how do you fulfill your your um purpose? Let me see. When you are older. I can only talk from I can only talk from the standpoint of I can only talk from the standpoint of my modeling career, when I was really, really pushing to become a model. And I remember that modeling companies would call me, they would call the house, and I was just doing, ah, uh, nah, nah. And then I got into my 30s, and I wanted to do it so bad. And I remember going to London, and I went to every top modeling <laughs> company, and they told me that I wasn't the right um, um, height. And then I moved to New York and I got signed like that. And I was in my 30s, which is really almost impossible. But then when you want a dream so bad, you would look into the categories of your dream. Okay, so now you may not be able to be a pilot when um, if you do wear glasses, because I heard that you can't wear glasses if, if you want to be a pilot. Now, I don't know if that's a fact. But I'm using this as an illustration as let's say that you you can't wear glasses if you um, if you want to be a pilot. However, you can be an air hostess. See, you don't have to give up the whole dream altogether about being in the air and being on the plane. So that's what I'm saying. So, yes, your age may have taken a toll on you. And yes, there are still some things that you can do as regards to your goals. 
there's some things that you can still do. Um, and the, the, and like there's some people who can just flat out really, really accomplish all of their dreams even when they're older but some people may now need to categorize it but what i'm trying to say is don't like don't stop dreaming and don't stop um like don't stop yourself from accomplishing that dream regardless of how old you are regardless of how old you are because like those kids now are grown right like you're looking at those kids they have moved out of your house some of them are about to move out of your house and how does that make you feel what about working for somebody, working for somebody who is way younger than you, probably has like no degree, but had the connections and now you're working for this person and they don't even understand the sacrifice and everything that you're putting into it. A lot of you are working way below your pedigree, way below your degree, way below your expertise. How does that make you feel? You know, when you think about all of those things, you will get up and start your own thing. You will get up and start your own company. Now, it's not wise to just wake up and go pursue your dreams and leave your job because you do have bills to pay. Okay, so that's not wise, but you can be accomplishing your dream on the side to where it grows. And then when it grows, then you can leave. That's if you choose to leave. Okay, um, so. Let me see if he has been able to send. Okay, so our speaker wrote here, embrace change. Embrace change. Our speaker says, embrace change. Don't be stagnant. Be flexible. Yes, that is such a good point. Embrace change. Don't be stagnant. Be flexible. In my life, I have had to move from Texas and then from Texas to Louisville. From Louisville, I got married in Nigeria, I had to stay there for some time and then I moved to New York and then I moved back again and then I moved to Maryland and now I am in New York and and if I wasn't a flexible person, I have always been a flexible person and I thank God for that. You have to be able to adapt because you don't know like what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen. Something could happen. A death could happen in your family or you could actually get a promotion in Utah or like in Alaska. And you have to have the mind of being able to switch and being able to be flexible. So I love what he said. I see Embossity. It's good to see you, girl. My beautiful friend all the way from Joss. So he says, embrace change and don't be stagnant. Don't be in a straight jacket. Okay? There is no way of doing anything. Just be fluid. Be like water. Okay? And then number two, he said, surround yourself with young, vibrant people. This is so true. I am the youth pastor at my church, and I have always thought that I was young until I became the youth pastor of the church. <laughs> when I see these girls with their nails this long, and when I hear them talking, and I mean, like, they know way more than I even know. Like, they know stuff that I don't know. Hey, Pay, that's my bestie. They know stuff that I don't know. You know, and every time that we have service and every time that we have youth youth service, I feel really, really young. And, and I look forward every single time. I look forward to just hearing from them and just being around them because, like, they make me feel younger and they educate me. So you have to be willing to be educated. OK, there was somebody who was having a discussion with me and this person said, oh, you know, and I had a master's degree and that was then. And the way that this person said that they had a master's degree and that was then they made it look like that was then meant that it was higher than what is now. Mm -mm. No, the world is evolving. The world is changing. <laughs> the world is changing. So if you had a master's degree in your 70s or you had a master's degree in your 60s or even in the 80s, it's definitely different from the master's degree of today. OK, so you have to be evolving and changing. He also said, think young and dress young. Our speaker. I know that you all saw our speaker. You saw how fly he looks. The first thing I said was, hello, handsome. And my husband is here, too. <laughs> I mean, like, have y'all seen my husband? Like, have y'all seen how that man dresses? And then have y'all seen how our speaker was? He has his hair dreaded. He has his hair up. He's always in a nice suit. Like, I mean, a fitted tight suit. And, oh, my goodness. Mm -mm. That's how you should be looking. 
You should be looking young. You should be looking presentable. You don't have to look old. You could have the gray hanging because that's really, really beautiful. When I see women and when I see men with that shiny gray, like it tells your story. So don't go dyeing it now. Like don't dye your hair. Don't. It's beautiful. Let us see the glory. It shows the glory. It shows how far you've come, okay? Um, surround yourself. With, okay, yes. And then he said, oh, Patience Tumba, you've been willing to be educated. Oh, thank you, Mama. A Faniki, true. Willing to learn and unlearn things. Yes. Yes. DJ, are saying that let's try again? Okay. Like, we'll try again. But so those are the points that he gave is dress young. Surround yourself with young people. Um, our speaker is back. Does it sound better? Hello. It's not giving up, y'all. No, I don't give up. It's part of it. You see, it's also part of accomplishing your goals. Don't give up. Never, ever give up on your dreams. Matter of fact. People are going to tell you you are getting old, you are older now. Like they tell me, hey, don't you think you are too old for your hairstyle? I would always say, is there a particular hairstyle for a particular age? <laughs> so, some guys now they look at me and they are like, hey, what are you going to do? Well, then leave the stage for the young people. And I'm like, I'm one of the young people. So you have to stay young all the time. You have to think young all the time. You have to never, ever give up. You have to have this never, ever give up spirit. I have, I have to think this one of my quotations. Always say that when you have found your purpose, you can hear me? Sorry. When you have found your purpose, yes, it comes like an eagle. Be tenacious like a bulldog. And be patient like a vulture. We go down the side and try wings. Wow. You see these three animals. They don't have the sharpest vision in the whole world. The bulldog is so tenacious that when you fight for your flesh, they have to cut it, cut your flesh off for you. No 
know that thing that you want to get, you must look at your price. End of it. Have you just go down? And when people say this to me, I say to them, I have not even started to talk to my public yet. I'm too tired. I was tired to say I That's when I'm going to say it. I will do what God says. Once you find your purpose, hold on to it. One thing I have discovered is God at every given stage. But before you get to that place, very much. of your points like like I was typing it so I'm gonna um re say it so I'm gonna say it again and then you can still send me like three or four more points and then we'll close okay when you scroll when you scroll up you will see all the ones that are written yes, yes I saw three yes I saw three so there are more than three already okay then okay then so I'll read them out now Thank you. And we'll find another time, okay? All right. <laughs> okay, guys. So um, I'm sure that you have been hearing. And I apologize again um, for, for so much for hanging in here. We are talking about, about how to pursue your purpose and your call even when you're older. And our speaker, DJ Gasparella, we are having some network issues um, and the generator is on over there and y'all know how, y'all know where he uses the generator, right? Okay, so y'all know what's going on. So, um, but he said, never ever give up on your dreams. Hope is what keeps you in there. He said, hope is what keeps you in there. Never give up hoping that one day you will make it happen. Never give up hoping that one day things will turn around. He said, let God be your anchor point. He said, be connected to the source. The source is God. The source is God. It's not by power. It's not by might. The source is God. The source is God. While I'm waiting on him to send some more points, I will talk about that, about the source being God. You see, now in this season, all of a sudden nurses, nurses are such a big deal now. All of a sudden people who sell lemons, lemons are such a big deal now, especially in Nigeria. I know it's very, very expensive. Okay. All of those, even, even Twitter, certain social networks that people were not using all of a sudden, like they're being used. Everybody will get their chance if you are st still in the race. As long as you're still selling that lemon, one day somebody is going to need it. But can you imagine that that woman said, oh, nobody is buying these lemons. And then the Corona came and then she didn't have any lemons to sell. Now they're selling lemons in Nigeria for 5,000 Naira, for 8,000 Naira, for 10,000 Naira. And she wouldn't have been able to sell anything because she gave up. You understand? Oh, now nurses, now doctors and everybody are now the heroes. We are now the heroes and, and, and salaries are doubling and all of that and free vacation and free nursing school and all of that. Imagine, I can only think of a lot of my friends who we were, we started nursing school together. A lot of people gave up. 
A lot of people gave up. Now, a lot of people are sitting down at home, but I'm about to go to work and I'm going to work a 16 hour shift today and I will get paid and it will be double pay because of what's going on because I stayed in the race. So that's what he means. He, he, he is saying, let God be your anchor point and be connected to the source. And he said, never give up on your dreams because if you give up, I mean, like, if you give up and you're waiting on the tide to come and because the tide is not here, because the tide didn't come, you walked away. And right when you walked away, the tide came. The tide came with all of the fish. The tide came with all of the sharks. The tide came with everything that you wanted, but you were nowhere to be found. So don't give up. Hope is what keeps you in there. Never give up hoping that one day you will make it happen. That's what our speaker said. Never give up. One day you will make it happen. One day it will happen. He also said embrace change. Don't be stagnant. Don't be fl uh, be be flexible. Don't be a straight jacket. He said surround yourself with young and vibrant people. He said think young and dress young. <laughs> I like that. Surround yourself with young and vibrant people. Yes, yes, yes. Do not give up on your dreams. Yes, be willing to get educated. Be willing to get educated. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Look on to God. He is the author and he is the finisher. So you can't be finished when God is not finished. You cannot be finished when God is not finished with you. You can cry. It's okay. You can pout. It's okay. You can roll on the floor, scream. You can do whatever you want to do, but you cannot give up. You can't give up. There was a young lady who was talking about suicide yesterday, and I promised her that I will do a segment on that. I'm oh, I will do a segment on that, definitely on suicide. You can cry, you can be worried, you can do all of that. That's human, but you can't give up because he is the finisher. So if he hasn't finished, then how dare you finish? Mm. Our speaker also said that when there is a casting down, there is a lifting up. Hallelujah. There is a lifting up. Be tenacious. Be tenacious. I know they said that you can't do it. I know they said that you're not the right height. You're not the right shape. You're not the right look. You're not from the right tribe. You don't even have the education. You don't have the pedigree. You don't know what you're doing. You're not educated. You're ignorant. You're black. You're white. You're Spanish. You're Hispanic. Whatever. Whatever. When there is a casting down, when they're dogging you, when they're beating you, when they're cussing you out, when they're dismissing you, rejecting you. Hallelujah. God, the author and the finisher of your faith. God, the one who lifts you up. He will continue to lift you up. So don't, so don't quit. Stay in the race. He will run for you. He will fight for you. He will be there for you. Just stay in the race. As long as you stay in the race, there is an opportunity for you to win. But you can't win if you're not in the race. You can't win if you're not in the race. When you find your purpose, focus. Don't look left or don't look right. When you find your purpose, when you find your call, which a lot of you who are older, you already know what it is. Some of you, when you look at those kids, you get so angry because if it wasn't for these kids, I would have been flying a plane by now. If it wasn't because of these kids, like I would have been a nurse or I would have been an engineer. Okay, can you stop doing all of that? And, and like, can you just go back to school? Can you just go back to school? Can you stop dogging your husband? Can you stop yelling at your wife? Can you stop rolling your eyes at those kids? Can you stop all of that? Because you can do that all you want. As long as you don't study, as long as you don't go back to school, you will not have those credentials. And as long as you don't have those credentials, you will not have the promotion. And as long as you don't have the promotion, you will not have the dough that you want to have in order to do the things that you want to do. So it's still up to you at this. So it's still up to you at the end of the day. It's still up to you. Be patient. Hold on. That's what he said. He said, you haven't even scratched the surface. And I think that he was saying that in response to what people are um, telling him, how he's doing this and doing that. And then like he replies like, honey, I haven't even scratched the surface. And that's what I tell people. Because people look at me, ah, oh, man, that's you're doing everything new. You are so ambidextrous. You're just all over the place. The last time that somebody told me that I was all over the place, I said, please take that back because I am not all, <laughs> because I am not all over the place. I am an ambidextrous person. I am multi-talented. And I have staff and I have people who love me and I have a strong support team and I do it all and I do it all well. 
please do not tell me that I am all over the place because that is a negative connotation and I will not take that. Like, you know how, like, some people, like, could be jealous, could be jealous, because God forbid that I say that they are. But you know how some people could be jealous, and then they try to knock you down because, like, they wish that they could do whatever it is that you're doing. And they ah, why don't you just focus on one thing and do it well? Just focus on one thing. Okay, so what about you? Are you focusing on one thing? Half, a lot of these people who say these things to me, like, they haven't even focused on half of a thing. They haven't even focused on half of a thing. So when people are talking like that, please look at the people talking. And have you noticed that people who who are doing it all and people who are accomplishing all of their dreams, they don't say stuff like that to you, do they? No. It's usually the people who are doing nothing. Okay, moving on. So when people talk like that to you, just say, honey, you haven't even seen anything yet. Okay, I haven't even scratched the surface of where I'm headed. Do what God tells you to do. So regardless of your age, just go ahead and do what he has told you to do. And make sure that you surround yourself by people who will help you and people who will support you. It is, okay. Hi, Pius. Hi, Auntie Tonya. How are you? Hey, Joy, Simara. I must never give up on my dreams. No, Hannah, you cannot give up on your dreams. Yeah, change is the only constant. That is so true, Hannah. Change is the only constant. Hi, Bafour, B-A-F-F-O-U-R. That is a beautiful name. Hello, thank you for being here today. And I am so sorry about the audio. I am so sorry. Afiniki said, yes, could be jealous. Afiniki, you know that we can't say that those people are jealous because then I would get an epistle tomorrow talking about how can you be so direct on your show? You should have some etiquette. You should have tact. So I'm having tact now. Some of y'all who come to me with that stuff, some of y'all could be jealous. Go find something to do. Okay. So I'm going to leave you guys here because I really, really do believe that we've done this justice. Focus on the dream that God has given to you in spite of how old you are. I told you my story about how I really pursued that modeling career even when I got to my 30s. And I got signed. So push. Push. If nobody... Um, signed you on as a singer or as an actress or as a model or any of those things that kind of um, that like kind of depend on a third party that you go ahead and you do it on your own like you go ahead and create your own platform okay like you go ahead and create your own platform there are some of you who have been personal assistants and you've been working for people for so long some of you just need to go ahead and start that farm go ahead and build that that a business go ahead and and and, and just start you would never know until you start. That's right. Haven't even scratched the surface. Yes. Yes, girl. Like, that's what you tell them. <laughs> after Nikki said that they will come after you, girl, they come after me every day. Even when I don't do anything. <laughs> ah, they come after me all the time. All the time. Anywho, thank you all so much for watching. Please, please, please focus on your dreams tonight. As soon as you get off this broadcast, go get your notebook and write down all of your dreams all over again. Go back to those old dreams, how you wanted to do this and how you wanted to do that. Don't let anybody tell you that it's not realistic. It is realistic. As long as you are breathing, it is realistic. Haven't you seen people at age 70, age 60, and they're in school, they're doing their bachelor's because they told themselves, they said, God forbid, I will not die. I will not die without a without a degree. I will not die without becoming that engineer. I will not die without becoming that nurse. I will not die without becoming that pastor. I will not die without becoming um, that great man of God. I will not die without sewing those clothes. I will not die without becoming that model. I will not die without becoming that actress. I will not die without this. You have to have that determination on the inside of you. You have to. Get personally involved in your destiny. Yes, Dr. Karen, get personally involved with your destiny. Stop looking at other people's lives. Look at your life. A lot of people are not happy. Ask yourself, why am I not happy? And then be ready for the answer. Because sometimes when you do ask the universe, like it will tell you. <laughs> be ready for the answer. And when you get that answer, you hit the road running. You run. You run and you do it and you don't give up. You run and you do it and you don't give up. You run and you do it and you don't give up. Today is not nine years of 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 my organization. And this morning I was just like like I was just like wow. Nine years. So many things have happened in nine years. We have 73 branches. As of this morning, we we just launched a new branch. 
and I couldn't believe it. All the changes that have happened, even our logo changed today. How we've had men join us now. So many men are so broken and how they're willing to be part of us. And that's because of what I started in 2011. That's because of what I started in 2011. It's not because I started it yesterday. There has been a consistency and people have seen it. So when you do start living your dream, you want to be consistent. Keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. I mean, like this Corona has taught me so many things, uh, just so many things, because it's amazing how a lot of people are sitting down at home. And then it's people in the nursing profession who are out there in the fields. And a lot of my friends gave up on this dream. A lot of my friends gave up on nursing because it was so hard. Even I almost gave up because it was just too hard. It was too hard. Now, I mean, like the story is different. So you're going to have your day. Trust me. You're going to have your day. You could win this race, but you got to be in the race. Our speaker said, thank you all for hooking up. There will be anchor. Pursue your dream. Set goals. Achieve them. And give yourself a pat on the back. Celebrate your success. That's right. That's what our speaker said. You have nothing to celebrate if you're not doing something, right? So go ahead and do something today. Get out a notepad. Write down your dreams. Write down a strategy of how you will accomplish them. At least write down one dream and write down a strategy of how you will accomplish them. Okay? Okay, so I'm going to be bringing my next guest next week, Thursday. Next week, Thursday, I will be bringing in a guest. Um, and then on Tuesdays, remember, Tuesdays is for Pearls and Pauls International. So a guest comes in for the rest of the day. So, so... The only days that I bring in a guest is on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Otherwise, it's just me. So, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. You can dream again and you can live again. God bless you.